Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm bringing you a video which I never thought I would be able to film. Normally I will place an order and I might keep maybe one item from the order. So I never thought I'd actually be able to film a clothing haul. However, I placed a Zara order and I actually liked pretty much everything that came. So I thought I'd bring you all a Zara haul. So the first item that I got in this haul is actually this black hoodie. It's just a really basic black hoodie um, and I didn't have one in my wardrobe so I thought it would be a really useful addition because it would go with literally everything like jeans, leggings, anything. But I really like how the actual cuff is a slightly different material and it's the same around the hem of the hoodie as well so I really like that and it's just it's not even that expensive for a nice good quality hoodie and I just thought it's a really good staple to have so I'm happy with that. Next up we have what can only be described as the softest jumper I've ever had. It's this really big soft brown jumper knitwear and it's it can almost pass as a jumper dress it's not quite long enough but it's so comfortable. Um, this one's only $29.99 and this is probably my favourite item in the haul I think. The sleeves are baggy, the whole jumper's baggy and I just think it's really nice, cosy. I guess it could still be classed as loungewear. Um, so yeah. So I also picked up this, it's a crop jumper in a really nice like bluey greeny colour. I really really like the way it looks on but I personally find it a little bit itchy around the neck so sadly I won't be keeping this one um, but it's a really nice jumper if you're less sensitive to um, the itchiness and it's also really soft and I, as, as I said I really like the way it looks on it. So I also picked up another long brown jumper, again a knitwear one, it's a bit paler than the other brown one and maybe a little bit shorter and I think this just looks really nice with a pair of leggings, uh, it's got a nice v-neck on it and again it's a nice soft jumper, maybe not as soft as the other brown one but it just feels like such good quality. I just don't think you can go wrong with a jumper like this really. And I've been looking for a cream knitwear jumper or like white cream, really pale beige knitwear jumper for a really long time because I just think it would look really really nice with a pair of jeans or a pair of leggings. So I found this one in Zara, which I really, really like. So it's got a really big roll neck at the top. It goes literally right up to your chin. Um, and it's a cropped jumper. And it's a really chunky knit compared to some of the other ones. And when I first tried it on, I really, really liked it. And I still love the way it looks on. But I'm actually finding this one a bit itchy as well. So I'm in two minds as to whether to keep this one. Because it does look really nice and it's what I've been looking for but I might prefer to try and find one that's not so itchy. Because I love the black hoodie that I'm wearing I also ordered it in the brown because I just thought it was a really nice colour um, and I knew that the um, hoodie was comfortable, really well sized and again I love that the cuff is different material from the rest of the hoodie. So yeah, I just got the brown one, so I've got more options with just basic hoodies because I don't have a lot of simple hoodies, so I really like that one. I then also picked it up in a colour called Ice, which I thought was going to be white, like a bright white. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it actually, in person, it looks kind of grey, green, blue. It's a, I can't really decide what the colour is so because it's not quite what I expect it to be I think I will send this colour back just because I was actually after a white hoodie not a not quite white hoodie so yeah I'll just keep the black one and the brown one and send this one back. So I don't just pick up clothes in this order I actually went for a couple of bags but I'm not quite sure why I decided that lockdown was the best time to buy myself new bags because where am I going to use them? 
but I did. So here's the bags that I went for. So this first one, I've been looking for a new handbag for a while because I've had mine for quite a long time and it's showing its age. And I was looking for one that was a neutral colour because I want it to be able to go with whatever I'm wearing really. So I went for this one, which is a really good size handbag. The straps feel really good quality, so does the bag, and the material's really soft. And then you've also got these little studs on the bottom for when you set it down on the floor, which I think is really nice. And then instead of a zip, I think this is quite unique about this bag, you have a like almost a, le a leather type fabric, and it's on a drawstring. So it opens up really, really big at the top. So you've got plenty of space in the bag. And then inside there's a little pocket that you can like put your phone in or something. And then you just close it with the drawstring. And then that sits down within the bag. So you can't actually see that bit when you're putting it. And I just thought that was really nice, really different from anything I've had before. Um, and still secure. I also picked up another bag. This one was listed on the website as a cr across the body bag. So when it arrived, it wasn't quite what I was expecting because I was expecting it to be a little bag on a long strap. So this is the bag. Obviously the strap is tiny compared to what I was expecting, but the bag is so soft and so cushioned and I love the clasp, it's just a pop. And it's a really big bag, like for a small bag that, that's not really gonna get in your way when you're out and about, you could fit a lot in here. So I really think that's a really good bag to have. So when it first came, I was like, oh, it's not what I was expecting, will I keep it? But I actually will, because I think that's a really nice bag. I also picked up a pair of shoes. So. I normally live and die in trainers. It's really difficult for me to break in shoes, so once I have a pair of shoes that's comfortable, I pretty much just stick with that one pair of shoes and wear it everywhere. In the summer, I finally broke in my Nike Air Force Ones because I went to Brighton with my sister and we are walking everywhere, so my feet got ruined that weekend, but now those shoes are really, really comfortable to wear. And wearing those, I've just grown to love wearing white shoes. So I wanted another pair of white shoes, but I didn't want to pay loads and loads of money for them. So I found these on Zara. They're a pair of nice, like, white Converse style shoes. I thought these would look nice with a pair of leggings, maybe some chunky socks sticking out the top. Yeah, and these are only £29.99, which I think is amazing for... A nice pair of shoes and I think these could be worn any time of year really you could wear them with leggings in the winter you could probably just wear shorts with them in the summer so I feel like these are a really versatile pair of shoes to have I ordered two sizes in these because I'm a size six but some shoes come up a bit small some come up a bit big so I ordered these in a six and seven I'm keeping the size six the seven was far too big so I would say they come up truth to size so if you do order these, go for your actual shoe size. Okay, so I've got two items left of this haul. So I have been looking for some nice, like, neutral leggings, because um, I only ever wear black ones, and I just thought it'd be nice to have more variety. So I wanted some pale, neutral leggings. Zara didn't actually have the kind of colour that I was going for, but I found a pair of brown knit leggings which are really, really soft. I'm yet to try these on. I did all the try-on clips for everything else before filming the haul, but the leggings I haven't tried on yet, so I need to try these on. These are a size medium, but I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna f how I'm gonna feel about them. They are really, really soft though, so let's give them a whirl. These are actually so comfy. You can't see full length, but they're really, really soft. Really comfy. 
and not the colour I was after because they were darker brown but they'd be perfect for lounging around the house in and even suitable for going out in I think. The only thing I'd say with these is they are a bit see-through so you can see underwear through them that's like the only bad thing about these leggings. Okay so the last item for this haul is another pair of leggings. Now this pair I ordered in a size medium large and it's a grey ribbed pair of leggings and it arrived and I was like surely that's it literally looks like it's for a child so I don't hold out much hope of these fitting. You can't really tell too badly the size until maybe if I stand up. So they're just really tiny. The waist is really small and the leg is just really short. So I'll try these on and see if they fit, basically. Okay, so they are really stretchy and they do go right down to my ankles, but they're very see-through and I just feel them pulling around here because there's not that much fabric. So these are a no for me just because I think leggings should be really, really comfortable and these just aren't. So that does bring us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from us, then please hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one. Bye.